Hi, I'm Beard Mobox, and today I've got a team made purely out of guys who have never been selected to the Pro Bowl. I've chosen the Titans to represent this team because I feel like they have the most underappreciated players in the NFL, with a few of their best players finally making their first Pro Bowl appearances this year. Alright, so on to the team, and we start with Blake Bortles at quarterback. Bortles was the third overall pick in the 2014 draft and has become the central figure of the revamped Jaguars offense. This year he set a bunch of Jaguars records including most touchdowns and yards in a season and he was also the joint second in the league in touchdowns. On to running back where we have two running backs instead of a running back and a fullback and we start with Jeremy Hill. Hill made his first career start last year in week 9 and finished first among rookie runners in yards. The second round draft pick was certainly a late season surprise last year, but his sophomore year didn't quite go as well. Despite that, he still ended the season tied for first in rushing touchdowns alongside three other players. Our second running back is Darren McFadden, and McFadden was the fourth overall pick in 2008, but has struggled heavily with injuries until recently. In college, he was a two-time Heisman finalist and made it into the top 100 players in the NFL in 2011 and 12. This year saw McFadden finish 4th in rushing yards from only 10 starts. On to wide receiver and we start with Mike Evans. Evans may have only been around for 2 seasons but his resume already stands strong. He made the all rookie team as well as setting franchise records for the most touchdowns in a season in his first year and he stepped up his production this year in all areas except for touchdowns which was always going to be hard to follow up. Our second wide receiver is Marquise Colston, and the repeated snubbing of Colston is perhaps the worst of all these players. Ten years of impeccable production has led to Colston surpassing 10,000 receiving yards and scoring 72 touchdowns. He also holds not only every franchise receiving record, but also the records for most touchdowns and yards from scrimmage. And on to tight end where we have Zach Ertz. Now Pro Bowl voters may not have thought that much of Ertz, but the Eagles certainly do as they recently signed him to a new 5 year $42 million extension. The 2013 second rounder set career best this year but that didn't earn him a nod to the Pro Bowl. Now onto the offensive line which we'll go through a little bit quicker. At left tackle we have Cordy Glenn and Cordy Glenn of the Buffalo Bills was a second rounder in 2012 and has started all but three games in his career with the Bills. Glenn actually entered the draft as a guard too. At left guard we have Justin Pugh. Pugh has only missed a few games for the Giants after being drafted 19th overall in 2013, moving from right tackle to guard after the Giants drafted Flowers with the 9th pick in 2015. Pugh made the all-rookie team in his first year. At centre we have Rodney Hudson, and Hudson is one of a few Chiefs players who have been overlooked for the Pro Bowl. Playing for the Raiders this season, Hudson made the all-AFC team. Hudson is currently the highest paid center in the NFL. Moving on to right guard we have Brandon Brooks of the Texans and Brooks was an early third rounder in 2012 but had a slow start in his rookie year being inactive for the first 10 games of the season but he has since become a regular in a solid offensive line. At right tackle we have Phil Lodeholt of the Vikings and Lodeholt has been a great right tackle since coming into the league as a second round pick in 2009. He started 89 games in 6 years until missing all of this season on injured reserve. And I was actually really surprised that I was able to include him on this team. At left end we have Charles Johnson of the Panthers. And where is this guy's respect? An all pro in 2010, Johnson has 63 and a half sacks to his name as well as 16 forced fumbles. He suffered a shortened season this year but he has easily been one of the best defensive ends in the league over the last 5 to 6 years. Moving on to right end where we have Mike Daniels who shouldn't be on this team. A 4th round pick in 2012, Daniels has been one of the best defensive ends in recent years. The Pro Bowl favours 3-4 systems so I've gone for a 4-3 system on defence. Dan Williams, a classic low numbers defensive tackle. He was a first round pick by Arizona and made his way to the Raiders this season, setting a career high in tackles. The 330 pound man also has a pick six to his name. Our second defensive tackle is Linval Joseph. And Joseph is a Super Bowl winner with the Giants, but really turned up his play after he joined the Vikings, going as far as making pro football focuses all pro team. Joseph has become an important piece in the Vikings stingy defense. On to left outside linebacker and here we have DeAndre Levy. Levy was another guy who spent this season on the injured reserve. In 6 previous years Levy recorded 618 tackles and 12 interceptions. 
Levy also appeared in the NFL's top 100 players the previous two years, but none of this has been enough to earn him a call to the Pro Bowl. At middle linebacker we have Michael Kendricks, and in four years Kendricks got 350 tackles alongside 12 sacks, despite never playing a full 16 game season. In one season he did play 15 games, and he got over 100 tackles, 4 sacks and 3 interceptions. Kendricks is also one of, if not the fastest middle linebacker in the league. At right outside linebacker we have KJ Wright. Wright has led the Seahawks in tackles for the last two seasons, and another classic late round pick by the Seahawks, this fourth rounder has been playing at a Pro Bowl level. Wright has recorded 466 tackles in his five year career, and of course is also a Super Bowl champion. Our first cornerback is Sean Smith of the Chiefs, and he's been around for a little while, coming into the league as a late second round pick in 2009. In seven seasons he has 81 passes defense and in his first year with the Chiefs in 2013 he returned an interception for a 100 yard touchdown. Our second cornerback is Janoris Jenkins and Jenkins entered the league with some serious red flags relating to his off field behavior but he's proven any skeptics wrong stepping up year by year. Jenkins has become a pick six machine returning 50% of all interceptions for touchdowns. In his rookie year, he led the league in defensive touchdowns with four, recording two pick sixes in one game against the Cardinals. At free safety, we have Hussein Abdullah, and this brings us to our last Chiefs player on this team. Abdullah has been a solid player for the Chiefs after starting his career at the Vikings as an undrafted free agent out of Washington State. He didn't play in the 2012-13 season, but signed with the Chiefs after his return, and like many other players, Abdullah has had some issues with concussions which has held back his progression. At strong safety we have Patrick Chung of the Patriots, and add another name to the list of Super Bowl champs that have never been selected to a Pro Bowl. Chung is a classic run-stuffing safety who started all but one game in the Patriots Super Bowl run last year, and a second round pick out of Oregon, Chung played one year under Kelly in Philly before returning to the Patriots. On to kicker we have Mason Crosby of the Packers and he's won a Super Bowl, he led the league in points scored in 2007 with 141 and is the Packers all time leading scorer. There's plenty of kickers that don't make the Pro Bowl down to the fact that only one from each conference is selected each year. Moving on to punter we have Maquette King of the Raiders and much like kickers there's also plenty of punters who have never been to the Pro Bowl. King was as good a choice as anyone else and his longest punt is 70 yards and that's pretty cool. McAfee, likely the league's best punter, has a longest punt of 66 yards. That does it for this video. If there's anyone that you think should have been on this team and wasn't, put it down in the comments. I'm always interested to see if I've missed anyone or if you have any better ideas. Oh my god, play! Hey, you made it to the end of the video! If you haven't seen the previous video yet, you can do that by clicking here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, you can do that by clicking here and subscribing. New videos every Friday and Sunday, and sometimes Wednesdays too. 